right now in the world, uh, we find ourselves in the midst of the most radical privatization agenda in our history. Uh, we see it in schools, healthcare, prisons, law enforcement. Uh, we also see it in basic natural resources where water and food, they're increasingly controlled by a smaller number of people, oftentimes in the form of multinational, transnational corporations. But perhaps the most uh, vivid example of this radical privatization that we've had in recent years is the privatization of warfare. What we've seen in Iraq in particular is that the United States has essentially overthrown the way that wars are waged in the modern world and has replaced a coalition of willing nations, international diplomacy, uh, United Nations authorization with a system of uh, billing corporations. In Iraq, there are 630 corporations on the U.S. government payroll. This really is the tip of the spear of the U.S. occupation. There are also 170 mercenary companies in Iraq. Now, when I say a mercenary company, I'm talking about companies that provide for a price armed services to, in the case of the U.S. government, guard your senior diplomats and the occupation officials, or in the case of another corporation, to protect their for-profit operations inside of Iraq. You now have private companies uh, taking over what was once the sovereign realm of nation states, that is the monopoly on the use of organized violence. When you outsource your national security, you at the same time are giving services that once were under the control of a democratically elected government to private corporations whose bottom line is not defending people or protecting populations or upholding human rights, but is the bottom line of the dollar. This has been a complete ripoff uh, of U.S. taxpayers uh, to the tune of billions of billions of dollars. And when the economic crisis became apparent in the United States, they talk about the predatory lending, they talk about the mortgage scandal, they talk about the banks and the corporate greed, and all of that is very real. But my God, what about the war? So we can, we can yell until we're blue in the face outside the gates of the White House. We can go protest at Congress. But until we take it directly to the corporations, we're not engaged in the real battle for the future of this country. That's the battle that's being waged around the world. What we need to do now is go back to the roots. Take our lead, not from leaders in Washington, but take our lead from people of struggle across the globe who have the audacity to say no.